Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and today I am back with you guys with another plugin for survival. Uh, we are doing Grief Prevention. Grief Prevention is a great plugin because it does a lot of features all in one. So it does land claims, it can do um, pretty much uh, spam protection, rollbacks, griefing tools. Uh, PvP protection, and it can do a lot more than just that with some add-on features as well. So let's get started. Give me one sec, and I'm going to move over to my server here really quick. Alright guys, we are back, so let's get into the server. So I already have this installed because I installed it earlier, but all you have to do is go into files. Uh, there should be a plugins folder, drag and drop into the plugins folder, start your server and you'll get the grief prevention data. So let me open this up for us. All right, so this is the config folder. So this will do pretty much all you need to do with the server. And then we have the text folder that I have open next. So the world, uh, so you can pretty much sea level. So um, you can determine if you want to have this go below sea level um, at all. So say people were building underground, you could set it so that people could protect their bases if they're below sea level. Um, another one is you can change if the world nether could be activated or the end could be activated. So you can have this so that your nether and end will be able to be protected as well. And we just have a bunch of other features. Um, something, another one is per hour. So every time a player stays online for a certain amount of time so usually it's an hour they will get 100 claim blocks and they're allowed to use those as much as they want um you can also do the max that they can get is so mine is set at 80,000. you can change that to some other number that allows them to either get higher or lower depending on what your server requires and needs these are really nice so that you can start out with kind of a smaller number and then because they'll start out with a hundred and then every hour they're on the server they'll gain a hundred claim blocks so if you wanted to start them off with say 1000 you could um that is just something really easy and simple to do Let's see, the next one is the minimum width and area. So with minimum width and area, this is how small a claim area can be. So I think the default one, I've changed mine a little bit, but the default one is five by 100. So it needs to be five blocks wide with a hundred blocks inside. So they can't go below that, otherwise it'll say, oh, sorry, you don't have a hundred blocks. It's a easy way of doing that. I suggest lowering it down just because then players can pick and choose how big they want their size of land claimed areas. It just allows the player to be able to pick and choose a little bit more than trying to be forced to do 100 squares right off the bat. The next one is the investigation tool and the modification tool. So these two, the investigation tool is a stick. So that will allow you to see claimed lands, who it's owned by, and how long it's been since they've been logged on. The golden shovel, you can change both these by the way. So I usually like to change my golden shovel to a just wooden shovel because it makes it a lot easier for players to get this right off the bat and be able to clean their land. So we can always just tell the player, oh yeah, all you have to do is build a golden shovel and you will be able to claim your land. Um, the stick, I just leave as a stick just because, I mean, you can get sticks really easy in the game. So, but as I said, you can change them both. Um, the golden shovel will allow you to do kind of like a world edit feature where you can choose like a right corner and the bottom left corner and it will make a square around the area and it will claim everything in that those two locations 
I'll show you a little bit more once we get in the game. So there is expiration dates, so you can do expiration for chess and then expiration for unused claims. So um, both these are good, so if you have servers that players haven't been on in four weeks, well you can have it expire and then all their stuff will open up to other players, they can use it, they can take the house and then claim as their own, anything like that. But if the player has been on, then the her if the player has been on, it'll reset the expiration date back to zero again. Um, so the next one is we're just kind of gonna go past this. You can pretty much choose all the fire spread, the mobs, and all that stuff. By default, all this stuff will be set so that it will not harm the player at all. So if a creeper goes off in their land it will pretty much leave the land completely clean. Um, spam, I don't really use this a whole lot, and if you want to use it, you can. Um, it's one of those things where I use a lot of other plugins, so like either Essentials Chat, or we use um, a plugin called Deluxe Chat. So this one you can play around with a little bit. Um, but I don't really use this a whole lot, so it's kind of up to you. You can just kind of change how stuff is managed with spam. PvP. So you can turn on PvP in worlds. You can change uh, where they can PvP, all that stuff with the claim tool. So right now the world is set to false. You can set this to true and they will be able to PvP in the main world. Um, same with all these other worlds. Um, you can protect fresh spawn so this will protect the actual spawn that's in the game you can punish if they log out combat timer them item drop all this stuff um, this is really nice to have in the game because that means you don't have to have other plugins as well to be able to do all this as so it's all built into one plugin essentially instead of you needing like four or five different plugins. You can also do an economy, so if they wanted to buy more land blocks, they could. So it would be able to say, oh, land blocks cost 100 for 100 blocks or something like that. Um, I will probably go into a different video about all this stuff with economy and trying to set this up with you guys. Um, this are setting up like a bunch of different economy plugins and showing you guys how they all work and getting you guys used to them but that that'll be in a different video so you can also protect items on death if you want that as well uh limit sky trees all this other stuff pretty much all the rest of this stuff is just uh stuff that you can change so these are breakable blocks, so you can break glass, grass, dirt, cobblestone, oak planks, all that stuff. And then door delays, you can do that. Rabbits eating crops. You can add a database to this game, or this plugin I mean. So if something ever happened, uh, you can save it and then just re-log into the database and it would hold all your information. But other than that, let's go to the chat one. I'm not really going to go over this too much because this file is ginormous. Um, you can pretty much just change and pick stuff if you wanted. So you can transfer claim permissions. It will say, oh, you need administrative claims permissions and all that stuff before you can get this access. Um, as I said, this document is kind of big so i'm not really going to go into this too much depth you can pick and choose all the stuff that you want to change if you want to change stuff otherwise they do a pretty good job of like actually saying what they want to say with each of the things so like claim block limit you've reached your claim block limit and all that stuff so that's just some stuff to think about so let us go back to the game all right, and we are back in the game, so let's get started. So as you can see here, we have pretty much a fresh map, and we are going to pull out a shovel, a golden shovel, and a stick. 
So, right off the bat, we can do... You may claim up to 200 or more blocks. So, that's great. So, if, I, so if you left-click, it acts as a normal shovel. If you right-click, it will put a diamond block down. And then if you walk in the opposite direction and say, I want it here, I don't have enough blocks for this, but if I kind of move closer a bit, there we go. I can claim this area. So as you can see, it outlines this area with a uh, two golden blocks and a glowstone. What you can do as well is if you do slash trust, and I can put my name, it says granted trust permissions to build in this claim. So if you had a friend and you wanted to have them trusted in this area, you could. Um, that allows them to be able to build and be able to just do whatever they want in the claim as well without them doing any, well, I mean, they can build and not have to worry about anything. But also, if we go to survival, oops, game mode, survival, if I lead this creeper over here, as you can see, he didn't really do anything because I was in my claimed land. So he would just blow up, but nothing in the land would get affected by it. So let's go on with the stick now. So if I right click with the stick, it says this has been claimed by Eskos, which is me. Last logged in was zero days ago. So if I were logged off for five days, it would say has been logged off for five days. But at least you can see the claimed land area. So for this, you can see that this is my territory. Um, and it brings up like the outline for you. Um, other than that, there's some other commands that you might want to do as well. So there's one called abandon. Oops, abandon all claims. And if you do slash abandon all claims confirm, it will get rid of all your claims. Uh, you can trust and untrust people, so as I said, you could trust them with slash trust. You can also untrust them by untrust and then the person's name. Um, something else you can do is you can just... There's a lot of stuff that you can do with this plugin as well. Um, but that's most of kind of the basic ones that players would want to know how to do. Here's some of the admin ones that you might want to do. So um, if you are building an area that is too big, so say like you want to build spawn, and I'm going to say build all the way over here, it's going to say I don't have enough blocks. But if I do slash admin claims and do that again, you'll see that everything has been claimed and instead of glowstone and gold it has been glowstone and pumpkins now if i right click it you'll see that it's claimed by administrator so that's a really nice feature as well so if you want to claim your spawn instead of like using world guard or anything you could do that way and then allow your administrators to um pretty much just do whatever they want and have people added and people that you trust um, something you can also do as an administrator is delete claim. So you can either delete all claim or just delete this one claim. So this claim has been deleted. Um, something else you can do is, uh, you can see like the claim list. So if I actually had blocks, let's just make a short one really quick. If I go to claim list, you can see that um, there is currently 100 blocks from player plus bonus is total of this. Uh, you can kind of see exactly where all your claims are, and then it tells you at the bottom how much are left to spend. So it's a really good command too if you want to give them that um, permission because then they can kind of see where their land is and then also 
what else I can do. Other than that, there's not really a whole lot else to feature about this. Um, I may go over and do... Oh, one more. Um, if you do slash trapped... Uh, you can build here and save yourself. Oh, if I wasn't in an area and I did slash trapped in someone else's land, what it would do is it would teleport me outside the claimed area. So I wouldn't be able to, or I could get out of the area if someone said uh, blocked you or untrusted you from building. So yeah, that's kind of everything that this command has to offer. I'll put both those links in the description below. If you guys have any other questions, put them in the comments. I am going to be making a Discord here soon for you guys to be asking questions and comments and anything like that. And you'll probably get a faster feedback from me if you do that. Otherwise, um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, you can always hit the dislike button as well. Um, otherwise, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more about what we do. I want to try and keep going with all these plugins and commands and everything um, just so that people can understand what big servers are about and if they want to make their own big server, they can. Um, otherwise, I think this is it and have a great rest of your day.